Hello, and welcome to this Vivado Quick Tech video, where we'll be discussing how to use new dashboards within the Vivado Logic Analyzer. Here's what we'll learn in this video. We'll look at the new dashboard improvements in Vivado 2015.1 to understand the differences with previous releases. We'll demonstrate how to use new dashboards and highlight the benefits of using them. As you know, Vivado Logic Analyzer allows you to interact with the debug IP. This is done via a number of different windows, such as status or waveform window, that are associated with each debug IP in the design. The dashboard feature is designed to help you view and manage these various windows. The dashboards fill up the workspace area and enable you to create, modify, and save the layout of the windows in your project. To improve the productivity and ease of use, several aspects of dashboards have changed and revised in 2015.1. This is mainly done by giving you more flexibility and control over the window management and customization of the workspace area. Let's explore these improvements as we demonstrate how to use the dashboards. The first feature we'll look at is default dashboards. After programming the FPGA on the hardware target for the first time, the tool automatically detects the debug IP within your design and creates a set of default dashboards for you. As you see here, a number of different debug IPs are present in this design. By default, you will have a separate dashboard for each of the ILAs. Each ILA dashboard contains the settings, status, trigger setup, capture setup, and waveform window of that ILA. Notice the first improvement here. The waveform window can now appear within a dashboard. Unlike before, it is not required now to have a waveform window in a separate dashboard. You can still choose to do so, but it's not mandatory. This is especially useful because it allows you to see the result of your trigger and capture activity in the same place without switching your view. Also, you can see that by default, all of the VIO windows are combined into a single dashboard. Unlike ILAs, VIOs only have one window. And for this design, all of the eight VIO windows are tabbed within a single dashboard. This takes us to the first benefit of new dashboards, fewer workspace windows to manage. As you saw, you can now dock waveform windows within ILA dashboards and combine all VIO windows into a single dashboard. Next, we'll look at improvements related to window controls within a dashboard. You can now move windows within a dashboard. By selecting the Window tab or Title bar, you can drag the window. An outline indicates where the window will land after the move, and once you release the mouse button, the window is moved. Note that dropping one window onto an existing window places the two window tabs in the same region. You cannot move windows out of the workspace. And as before, you can resize the windows. Minimized windows will appear on the side of the workspace depending on the window location. To expand the window to use all of the viewing environment, click the Maximize button in the upper right corner of that window. This takes us to the second benefit of new dashboards, improved window management. As we saw, you can now easily move the windows within a dashboard, dock them on the side, tap them together, or iconize them. The next improvement is the capability to customize dashboards. Typically, the windows in the default dashboards should be enough to debug your design and view the results. However, there are times when you might want to move windows around and customize your dashboards. For example, you may want to be able to view both the ILA status and waveform window in addition to controlling VIO probes in the same dashboard. Let's see how we can do that. Every dashboard has an option slide out on the left. Use the button on the left side of a dashboard to open its option settings. This allows you to select the windows 
that appear on the current dashboard. For instance, only the windows for one of the ILAs have been selected to appear on this dashboard, and this selection only applies to this dashboard. However, you are allowed to select any windows from any of the ILA or VIO within the design to add to any particular dashboard. As a result, we can easily include one of the VIO windows in this dashboard. In addition to customizing default dashboards using the dashboard options, you can create brand new dashboards in two ways. First, you can use the dashboard toolbar button on the top of the screen. Or you can right click on the debug object in the hardware window to select the new dashboard option. When the new dashboard dialog appears, you can name and customize the dashboard as necessary and add it to your workspace. Customization and flexibility are important benefits of using new dashboards. You not only can control the number, name, and content of dashboards, but also can add one or more window from different debug IPs into a single dashboard. Now let's look at how we can add probes to dashboards. You can add probes to Trigger Setup, Capture Setup, Waveform, and VIO probes window. Each of these windows now offer a local button to add probes. This is easily done by clicking the green plus button in the window and selecting the desired probes. Notice that only the probes for that particular ILA or VIO are listed in the Add Probes window. You should also notice that the Debug Probes window is now hidden by default to save space, but you can still manually open that window if desired. However, the local app button should be much easier to use for adding probes. By using this local method of adding new probes and hiding the debug probes window, we use the available workspace more efficiently. Now let's have a quick look at some other improvements. The waveform window is now automatically populated with the debug probes of the associated ILA. To add new probes to the waveform window, you can drag and drop even from other windows. It's important to note that most windows can appear in multiple dashboards. However, each of the ILA waveform windows can only appear in one dashboard at any point of time. A notification is shown if you select to relocate the waveform window to another dashboard. There are also overlay messages shown in different windows that provide you with more information. For example, if probes are not available, they'll let you know that the device needs to be refreshed or how you should change the capture mode. Last thing to note is that if you decide to undo the changes you have made or want to start with the default settings again, you can easily click the Reset to Default to restore the dashboards to default settings. Always remember that the layout of your dashboards are automatically saved within your projects, so when you make changes, do not be concerned with losing your settings and only focus on debugging your design. In summary, we analyzed the new dashboard improvements and saw how they are used within the logic analyzer. We also discussed the ease of use benefits of these new features in terms of window management, flexibility, and customization. Thanks for watching this Rivada Quick Tech video.